Hello guys, welcome to our channel Daily Doctor. Here I am with a new video that is how to start with your microbiology if you are a, if you belong to RS4 scheme that if you belong to this new CBME curriculum batch. For this CBME curriculum which started from the 2019 batch that is your RS4 scheme the things have been actually changed. The syllabus is the same but they have added competency based learning. They have given more importance for your clinical application. They have added like uh, the topics like seminars, self-directed learnings and small group discussion and edcom modules. In this video I am going to focus mainly about this microbiology only. And I'm going to share some tips with you how you, have, you are supposed to start your syllabus if you belong to this RS4 scheme. One of the best book for studying microbiology if you are belonging to this scheme is Apurba Shastri. They have in included all the competencies, they have added the newer modules also in this uh, book. So this is the best book you are supposed to buy and you have to start with this book only. This is the third edition of the textbook. Here, in this edition, they have actually given divided the syllabus into general microbiology, immunology, and the hospital acquired infection. The main uh, thing starts from here. They actually included all the systems and the infections which are coming under that system. Here they are giving the bloodstream severe infections, GIT, hepatobiliary and the skin and soft tissues, respiratory, CNS and the genitourinary system. Now let me tell you about the examination pa pattern. You will be having two papers, paper 1 and paper 2 each carrying of 100 marks and you will be knowing that you will be having MCQs for 10, 10 marks in each paper. General microbiology is carrying 13 marks while your immunology is carrying 16 marks and the CVS and bloodstream infection is of 21 marks. GI and hepatobiliary system is very important. It is having more weightage here. It is of 29 marks. And skin and soft tissue system infections, it is about 21 marks. While talking about the paper 2, your paper 2 will be completely systemic. In the CNS, you will be having 21 marks. RS, respiratory system is carrying more weightage here. It is carrying 26 marks. Genitourinary tract infections, it is of 21 marks. Uh, the same for the zoonotic diseases. And 11 marks for your miscellaneous topics. If you are preparing for your exams or if you in general if you want to study well for this microbiology first you have to go through with the general microbiology you need to get the introduction part of all the bacteriology virology mycology and the parasitology in the first aspect then if you are, uh, if you are preparing for your internals or if you are preparing for your final exams first whatever the system you feel comfortable you need to start with that system if you are taking the cardiovascular system and the bloodstream infections first uh, first you have to focus about the introduction part in the first thing they ha in each system in the apurba shastri it has mentioned about the all the infection part all the infections which are uh, which have de dealt in that aspect they have mentioned here first if uh, first if you are taking bacteriology in that you have to take the what is the main question that is coming for your exam enteric fever is very important in the bloodstream and uh, cardiovascular system infection so first you, you are supposed to prepare for this question and the next when you are coming for the virology in the cvs and bloodstream infection it is hiv which is very important which is a 10 marker question you are supposed to prefer prepare for that question in the parasitology malaria is very important in that way you are supposed to focus on the important questions that are coming for under each system and you, you are supposed to prepare first for the uh, those questions or those topics then you are you have you, you should go for other organisms here i am showing you some of the important questions if you are preparing for the exams 
uh, first you need to um, note down what are the important questions you are supposed to cover in that part in the uh, given time so you have to know like i have i have written here hepatitis virus is very important in jit polio is very important in cns likewise you have to make a note of the uh, questions which you are supposed to cover and then, then you have to read for those things mainly you have to focus lab diagnosis in the microbiology for your 10 mark questions they will ask about the uh, diagnosis part they will uh, they will give you a case history based on that you have you are supposed to find out what is the diagnosis so for that you are you are supposed to study thoroughly about each organism so that you will get a clue that what what will be the given question for you make proper note of everything uh, make flow charts and tables mainly focus on the lab diagnosis part and clinical applications okay this is all about today's video i, ho I hope i've helped you in some way if you like this video please subscribe to our channel daily doctor thank you for watching